Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush has signed off on the latest Alamo Master Plan. The next step is the signature of Mayor Nirenberg on the document because the city will essentially be leasing Alamo Plaza to the General Land Office under the agreement. However, the mayor is hearing from several groups, including some Republican lawmakers, not to sign the deal because it means moving the Cenotaph. Willie Nelson's decision to headline a rally in Austin for Senate candidate Beto O'Rourke has some of his fans angry. Many fans took him to task on social media when he made the announcement this week. Nelson says a Democratic candidate embodies what is special about Texas. Some fans called Nelson a socialist for his support of O'Rourke. Our business news update now with Ed Arnold from the San Antonio Business Journal. Ed? Thanks, Sherry. San Antonio-based Globalscape, a secure file transfer company, this week rejected an unsolicited offer to buy all its shares. The offer was for $4.15 per share, while Globalscape stock has been hovering around $3.95 since August 21st. The buyout offer comes about a month after Globalscape announced a round of layoffs and less than four weeks after it settled an investor's class action lawsuit for $1.4 million. Rosemary's Catering, part of San Antonio-based RK Group, has landed a five-year contract with the Kentucky Derby Museum in Louisville. The company will provide year-round private event catering at the venue starting in January 2019. Thanks, Ed. Find links to these stories online at klrn.org news.